Poor children on Medicaid. Many turned away from health care providers. It happened at Dr. Kim Schreier's practice. Schreier admits it's true. They do restrict the number of those patients. The claim in this ad lacks context and requires much more background to understand the full picture. Dr. Kim Schreier does not have her own individual practice, but rather works as a pediatrician for Virginia Mason, one of Washington's largest health care providers. Why did Schreier's practice refuse to treat these poor kids on Medicaid? Schreier said her practice would not be able to stay afloat. While it's true the clinic where Schreier works does not accept all Medicaid plans, it's not up to individual doctors who work for large providers to decide which insurance plans they accept, according to Washington's health care authority. A spokeswoman says that's done during a larger system-wide negotiation. So what do the numbers show? A spokesperson for Virginia Mason says their current figures from 2016 reveal more than 11,500 Medicaid patients received care within the Virginia Mason system, noting a 158 percent increase over a four-year period. But that's just a fraction of the region's total number of children on Medicaid, or Apple Health, estimated at nearly 169,000 children in King County alone as of April of this year. Poor children were refused care while Kim Schreier got rich. But again, individual doctors don't decide which insurance contracts to accept. In a statement to King 5, Dr. Schreier's campaign says it also reflects a huge issue within the current system and one of Dr. Schreier's motivations for running, saying, quote, our system puts too much power in the hands of big insurance companies to decide which doctors people can see. The issue raised in this ad is also something Dr. Schreier had to address during primary season when another Democratic candidate first brought it up. Now that we're in the general election season, the race is down to one Democrat and one Republican. Dr. Schreier says she would welcome a larger health care conversation with her opponent, Dina Rossi.